Hi everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to do this super cool carousel animation that's fully customizable and it can also loop continuously forever. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So you just want to start with a blank presentation and you can get that by going layout and blank. Now the first step will to be insert our images and I've got mine copied onto my clipboard so all I need to do is go control V and here are our images. We can just size them down as we want and then put it onto our slide. Okay, so our next step will be to crop, format and position our images. We can start by the first one by going picture format, crop, aspect ratio, square, so that's one to one. And then we can go crop again, crop to shape, then a circular shape. Now all we need to do is add a shadow, so we're gonna go picture effects, shadow, and then we're gonna go the middle one here, and we're going to edit that slightly by going shadow and then we can go shadow options into format picture and then we're going to change this to go 40 and then 102 here which is what we've got and then the 30 blur which creates a, a giant shadow but like that's what we sort of want so there we go we've got a shadow here and now we can size our image down but before we do that all we need to do is go Control shift c which copies the formatting and then you can highlight all the shapes in our picture and go Control shift v and while we're at it we can go through each picture and go crop aspect ratio one because the formatting does not copy that so let's just do that quickly and then we've got some circular images once we've done that so now we're going to change the location of these shapes and we just want to size them down before we do anything else this is a good size and you should get your images in a sort of order of what you want. So I could say this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, this is number four, and this is number five. And number one will start in the middle, so we can just go picture format, click on it, go align, center, and align middle. And we can size that down slightly. Then what we can do is we can go to our second image, and we can just align that to the middle and then size that down. Uh, and the way I'm doing this, I'm just holding control shift so that it stays the same and it's going to um, size down by center. So we can just move that behind there and just keep that there and just get it to a size that you think looks good. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna get number four now, which is actually this one over here, or number five even, sorry. And we're going to just make that the same size as our other shape over here so it's better if you make it go close to the shape so that PowerPoint can just get the same distance so that it shows the same diameter and that's good and then we can go align middle and then just go into the same sort of area that this is so this has the same you can see by all the lines that it's basically aligning to the same as the other shape over here so it's like symmetrical now we can get number three and all we need to do is just put that to align middle and then size that down loads so it's tiny well not tiny tiny but like quite small and then we can pull that into the side so i'm feeling this is a bit small so i can always just size up some of these things size this up and then just size this slightly up and i kind of want to keep the the balloon in here so i'm just going to move that across so that we've got the balloon in shot so that's good, um, and that's the same with this one over here. Um, I want to keep the, the girl in shot here. Okay, so this is really nice so far, um, and we can actually just pull this out a bit. So it just takes a bit of fiddling around just until we get something that looks good. So I like this, and this one's just going to follow the same one as this one over here. So we can just size this down until it's the same size as this one over here. And then align middle, and then we can pull it across. So that it's aligned so here we go we've inserted um, our images and then cropped and formatted them one more thing to do will be just to highlight all your images in this format picture over here go to fill go solid fill and then go black and this will become clear why we're doing it later because we're going to add a transparency to these end ones we're going to make a transparency of 50 percent so we're going to up this um, we go to picture format we have to click on one separately and then go 50 percent which I think is this one over here and same with this one over here and this is why we added a black fill because it makes it go darker instead of lighter which would have happened if we hadn't added any fill at all and this one was going to go 15% so 
so we can just put there 15 percent over here so here we go we've got our images all nicely cropped formatted and um, located on our slide now it's time to add a text and bottom slider and if you remember from our beginning thing over here we've got like a slider at the bottom here which moves along and we've also got these numbers at the top or just text at the top which move along like that so if we go back to our slide all we need to do is just add a text box and we're just, I'm going to just write number one you can write whatever you want and we're going to change this to be poppins but really it can be anything we're going to bold it and size it up. So let's just get this to a nice size. I think this is slightly big. And we can go shape format, align, center. And we just want to pull this down to a reasonable height. Um, and then we're going to actually move all of these shapes down so that it's all centered with the number at the top. And we also need space for the slide at the bottom, which we will do later. So now we're just going to add this to each one. So we're just going to go control shift so that it moves along the same axis go y and then control y even to copy it and then we're going to copy that over here and then copy the further one over here we can now pull each one down until we've got it like this now this doesn't look very good so first of all we're going to highlight all our text go centered alliance middle so this means when we size it down it's going to stay where it is so we're going to size this down to a reasonable size so it's going to be like 20 maybe and then this one we're going to size down further this one's going to be 16 we're going to do the same over here maybe actually 24 might look good just do it to a size that feels good for you and then we can pull this down further to make it feel better this one's also going to be pulled down. Pull this down slightly. Okay. Now we need to obviously change the number that's there. Change the text. So we're going to go 2, 3, 4. Oh, sorry. This is actually 5. Um, and we start in the middle because that's obviously where the main focus is so when we run our slide all it goes starts number one then two etc now all we need to do is add the slider we just have a line right at the bottom very simply and it's going to be a gray line uh, we're going to choose this darkest the darkest white basically and we're going to go weight three points and we can make this a bit smaller zoom in Go control shift and then pull it to a reasonable length until there's a space between there and then go control y four times three times even so that we've got three things there we can group that go align middle sorry align center even um, and then pull that down to the bottom here so we're not going to do any of the highlight here uh, we will do that later see we've got a highlight at the bottom here we'll do that when we're duplicating our slides so we can, now we've done our first slide our next step will be to duplicate and animate the slides so this is a bit of a tedious process but once you've done it it'll look really good you only need to do as many slides as there are images so i've got five images therefore i'll need five slides so we can go duplicate right click on the slide and go duplicate slide i'll run you through the first one so all we need to do really uh, we don't need to worry about the text for now um, really we can we can worry about that later and before we actually do this we want to edit our text and just make them so that we've got a nice a nice um, sort of transparency on them so that it looks like it's also fading out so we can go text and go 75 percent 75 percent on this side and we want to make sure this is why i'm doing this first because you want to make sure all the formatting is correct before we continue because it's going to copy over every slide and if we don't do it beforehand we're going to have to do them on every five all, all five slides which will be even worse so we can just delete that second slide and then duplicate it again so we've now got our formatting on here and all we need to do is we just need to go Control shift it's going to copy it and pull it over so we're just going to pull it over until it's behind number three so we're going to go center back and now we can pull this one across one holding shift so that it stays on the right axis and we're do it, going to do it until it, we get that red line signaling that it's aligned to number two 
dots and then we can size that up until it's aligned and then we can pull number two across size that up and then pull number one across size that down and all this time i'm holding control shift just so that it sizes from the center then we can send this back one two and then pull along number five make that go to number four's position like previous position and then we can send that to the back and now we can delete our first image over here uh, we also can change our number over here which will be now number five this is now going to be number one this is going to be number two number three and number four so now we can actually do something with this slider over here as we're just going to be duplicating this first slide which we won't need the slider yet we can go shape format and make this black so that it sort of changes it as you remember from this the slider will go from gray to black signaling what slide it's on so all we need to do is go back to the first slide now that we've done this slide and just copy and paste this five times or three times really so that we've got five slides and pull this to the end um, and then we can start formatting our slide and this is going to be a bit of a tedious process so while we're at it um, let me just draw your attention to the big red subscribe button that's just below this video and just make sure you click on that if you enjoy my videos and want to see more and also help me out in the process so let's just do this and while i'm at it let's just speed up and play some music Okay, so welcome back. I've got all five slides. That took me about um, five minutes or so. Uh, and once you get into the rhythm of it, it gets a bit faster. So now we've still got a few things to do. Um, we've got a few things we need to add transparency and then change our sliders. So um, you can see by this, I haven't changed any of the transparency as there's a quicker way to do it after we've done all these imaging things. So we can just go to the first slide again, click on the last image or like these end images which have the transparency that we need go control shift c and if you remember that copies our formatting and then go to every slide and just click on the two images that need that formatting which are always at the end and then just go control shift v to copy that and then we can go back to the first slide now copy the second one here across go control shift v and then select those two images in every frame And then lastly, you guessed it, we're going to do the middle image and we're going to go to the first one, click on this middle image, go control shift C and then do that to every image in the middle. Okay, so now we've done all the transparency. The last thing to do is our slider, which is here. We can just make this black. Make the middle one black here. And this should just correspond to the number that is. So this is number four, we'll do number four slider. Number five will be the last one over here. Okay, so now this isn't animation yet. We've, we still haven't animated it. You might be content with this, but we want that sort of motion that we get from the one that I showed you at the start, which is like this. And for this, we're going to use a morph transition. So this is the same principle that I used in my previous carousel animation video, um, but this one is obviously better as I've picked up new skills along the way. So all I need to do is just highlight all of them, go transitions, morph, and we're going to make it to duration of one. You can actually make it faster if you want, but this is what I want. And now our last step will be to loop the presentation. This means you can go back and forth that I showed you at the beginning. So all you need to go is slideshow, set up slideshow loop continuously until escape so if you want to stop to the slideshow all you need to do is hit escape top left of your keyboard and then we can go from beginning and this is our final animation as you can see we can go from left to right then we can go back and forth forward and back etc etc and this is a fully customizable template of a carousel um, all you need to do is just change images, change the text at the top, change the slider, colour, gradient, everything. So 
this is hopefully you found this tutorial helpful as this is a really cool character animation if you watch my first tutorial first all you really need to do is just follow some of these steps and just work out which ones you need to do and so thanks for watching make sure to hit on this video which will show you how to create this super cool intro animation if you would like to do that make sure to head on into that video and thanks for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below i'll see you next time